Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a class at study.com and this is data structures and algorithms. So this, this class basically, it helps you prepare for job interviews because you need to know your data structures and algorithms. So when you get a coding job, when you get a software engineer job, what's presented on this interview is a coding challenge. Basically you have to solve this challenge. Now you go to leakcode.com to practice and they have a bunch of coding questions you can practice on. But basically, for you to even start practicing that, you need to know data structures and algorithms. You need to take a college level or near college level data structures and algorithms course. So even if you're not doing a college degree, I still think this uh, class can absolutely help you. And if you are doing a college degree, if you're doing the WGU computer science degree, if you are doing the WGU software engineering degree, if you're doing the TESU computer science degree. So if you're doing any of those degrees, this course will transfer in. It will transfer in and it will save you a lot of trouble and a headache of taking that college level class. Because it, it is hard on all three of those schools. It's hard at WGU, it's hard at TESU, and it's hard at SNHU. So transferring this course in will save you a big headache. So I would definitely recommend taking this course on study.com. Right now they are doing a 68% off and that only lasts about another 11 days, guys. Another 11 days for that huge summer promo. I believe it ends at the end of August here. So if you go sign up right now, you get 68% off the first month. If you sign up with the link in the description, um, make sure you sign up with a laptop or a desktop because sometimes on mobile it doesn't work and then go all the way to checkout and it's applied at the checkout. So when you click the link, you won't see anything, but when you go all the way to checkout, it will apply. So this course, like I said, you will learn basic data structures and algorithms, which you need to get a job. This is probably one of the top three most important courses in a computer science curriculum. Uh, this course and probably a introductory programming course and maybe an intermediate programming course. Like the, those three would probably be your most important courses uh, when it comes to getting a job. So this course is highly important. So I'm gonna take you through a screen recording and we'll go through the study.com lessons. I can't really show you uh, the actual like lessons, but I can show you like what the titles are. I can show you the system of how study.com works. Uh, it's basically a quiz system where you take a bunch of quizzes. There are five question quizzes. Usually there's like a hundred of these and then you take a final exam. The cool thing about study.com is if you get, uh, if you get a hundred percent on all the quizzes, which you should, cause you get three tries per every quiz, get a hundred percent on all of those quizzes. Uh, and you only need 55% on the final. And it is, it is a bit of a hard final. Uh, it is proctored, but it's not live proctored. It's just a recording. And if you, <clears throat> if you study really hard, like take all the practice tests that study.com provides, and just really, really do a lot of studying, maybe do some flashcards, you can definitely pass this. So it's it's one of the harder finals, but it's not like, it's not 10 out of 10 difficulty. I'd probably put it like, you know, maybe at 8.4 or something along those lines. So you can definitely pass it. Um, I think I passed that one on my first try. Uh, I did take this course at study.com a long time ago. I, I wanna say it's been a while, you know, probably a few years. So I don't know if anything has changed, but like I said, I took this course and I transferred it in to uh, TESU. So, and you can transfer this course in as data structures and algorithm one at WGU, which I'm sure most of you are going to do. I'm sure 90% of the viewers watching this are probably WGU. Um, but for those of you attending TESU and other schools, this is highly relevant as well. So let's get into the screen recording and I will show you the course at study.com. All right, guys, we are in the screen recording here. And here you see Computer Science 201 Data Structures and Algorithms. So this is the course you're going to take. It transfers into a lot of computer science programs, uh, and it also transfers into the WGU Software Engineering Program as well. So if you're doing the WGU Software Engineering Program, you only need to take one data structure class in that program. The, the Computer Science Program, you need to take Data Structures 1, Data Structures 2, and Discrete Math. Whereas in the software engineering program, you only need to take data structures one. So you can actually just get this course out of the way and not have to worry about, you know, those types of courses. So if you're, I recommend this course on the software engineering program more than almost anything else. 
So this course is based in Java. I wish it was based in Python, but Java is still really, really good. Um, you know, it'd probably be the second language that I pick. It's just that Python is a little cleaner. It's a little more simple. Uh, it can help you code faster. But like I said, Java is, you know, still a bit of the industry standard. Um, it's just you're not going to, when it comes to on the job, you know, you, are you going to use courses like data structures and discrete math? For the most part, no. Like, you still need to know your data structures, obviously, for for a software engineer job. But for the most part, like, your, your job is going to be much more straightforward, you know, than a complex data structures or complex discrete math type of course, you know, a lot of times you're not going to be using a lot of that information on the job. So I wouldn't really worry about that, but you do need this to pass an interview. So basics of Java, object oriented design fundamentals, core data structures, analyzing algorithms, recursion is a tough uh, chapter. So pay attention to that stacks, lists, trees, priority keys, <clears throat> priority queues, um, Maps and hash tables, search trees and types, sorting and selections in Java, text processing, graph data structures, and memory management. So I will give study.com credit. This is like, I really do feel like this is a college level data structures course. Like you will learn the basics of data structures and algorithms, and you will learn how to actually operate them. You know, you actually will learn what they mean. Uh, you'll, your knowledge and your theory are going to become much, much better. Like this is a very well put together class for like a non-college level class. This is a very good course. It might be like, would I say it's the funnest course on study.com? No, but is this one of the courses that you will learn the most and is actually relevant? Like, yes, you know, I might put this at like the top of the list when it comes to actually learning and being useful. Like this is a really well put together course. You know, you get in the basics of Java. So uh, if you take the intro to Java class at study.com, it should knock all of this out as well. The cool thing about study.com is if you take multiple courses there, a lot of the quizzes overlap. So let's say you take the intro to Java course there, and which would transfer in as uh, intro to programming at most colleges. If you take that course at study.com, it should get rid of most of this section, chapter one. And it might even get rid of some of chapter two as well. So, you know, that, that's the cool thing about study.com. It has 100 lessons, which should mean 100 quizzes, but it might be a little less quizzes than 100 because not every lesson does have a quiz. 100 lessons, I mean, 100 quizzes, you can actually fly by in like four days. You really, really can. If you put your memory into it, your muscle into it, devote a lot of time into it, focus on this five hours a day, six hours a day, you can get it done. Um, once you're done with the quizzes, you get 100% on the quizzes. I would go review all the information review, 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 and there is a practice test you can take right here. So you definitely want to take like that practice test. And I think they have multiple practice tests. I don't remember how many practice tests they have. I think it's at least two and it might be up to five. So take as many practice tests as they allow you. Um, there's not going to be any question crossover on the exam, but it is very relevant. It is extremely relevant to the exam. So it will help you a lot. Uh, I always, in the harder courses on study.com, I always take all the practice tests. On the more general education type of courses on study.com, I'll just skip the practice tests. But, you know, when it comes to courses like this, especially in the computer science curriculum, I usually like to take advantage of all the uh, practice tests. So you can complete this course. <clears throat> this one I think might take you a little over a week. Uh, study.com courses, I, I've done a lot of them in like two, three, four days, but this course especially since you really need to learn and digest the information. I'd probably put this one closer at 10 to 13 days, but you can do it in four or five days if you really want to. You know, I just, I think you might not digest all the material. And this is a course you actually really do want to digest the material. So um, <clears throat> I would definitely really take your time on this one. Uh, if you're trying to accelerate uh, two weeks, you should still be able to get it done. You know, do the math here. You got 16 lessons. And if you want to do it in two weeks, it's about a little over one lesson a day. You know, you're probably going to be grinding four hours a day at least on this. You know, so you can get it done, though, really, really fast if you want to accelerate this. But like I said, this course is important. It's not a filler class. This is a this is knowledge you need. 
This is knowledge you need for interviews. It's knowledge you need for your college curriculum. It's knowledge you need for programming. This is a very important course. This is not a course you just want to learn absolutely nothing from by flying through it. You know, you actually want to digest some of the material. So you should find a bit of a middle ground, a bit of a balance between accelerating and learning. I'm not saying take months on this course and digest it that much. You still want to accelerate. It's kind of the point of, you know, going to WGU. It's kind of the point of, you know, going to study.com is you, you still do want to accelerate. You still do want to go at good speed, but you don't want to learn nothing from this class. You know, like you don't want to skim too much. I would still read most of the lessons um, and do your best, you know, try to retain the information. And like I said in previous videos, one of the ways I learned best is by taking practice tests too. You know, like it's kind of like a study method in a way where you take a practice test and you like, if you don't know the question, if you don't know the answer, like it kind of helps you study because afterwards you're going to, oh, what's the answer to this, you know? And you can even take like a practice test open book, right? And that's like a really, really good study method in my opinion. Um, you can take practice tests in two ways, right? You can take a practice test to see where you're at and not take it open book, which is really, really useful. Or you can take a practice test open book, which is kind of like a very helpful study guide. You know, it's like, okay, I don't know the answer to this question. Let me go look it up. I'm gonna study it. I'm gonna study the category here, etc. So, and then the questions you get, the questions you already know, you don't have to study. So that's, I'm a big fan of practice tests. I think like they're a very useful study method. Um, but anyways, this course, like I said, it will help you in WGU computer science, WGU software engineering, TESU computer science. So if you wanna transfer into any of those, this course will transfer um, and I highly recommend it because it's a really good course on study.com. They're doing 68% off right now. And also the course on WGU and TESU are pretty difficult. Uh, especially the one on test it's pretty hard actually um, on wgu the data structures and algorithm one course is a test it's an oa it's a difficult oa but pretty passable probably difficulty level of maybe a 8.5 um you know definitely harder than this final exam for sure i think i put this one this whole course at like a or the exam i think i put a 8.4 on this one but I would say the grading scale is a little different between study.com and like, you know, WGU, which is a university. So when I say 8.5 at uh, WGU, it's not like the same rating scale, you know, like this is an 8.4 non-college, like final exam uh, type of rating scale, whereas WGU is like an 8.5 on a college level. Like if I was going to compare the two, I would say like the final exam here is probably, you know, uh, maybe I'll, I'll say the WGU exam is like probably going to be 75% harder, 80% harder. It's going to be definitely a lot harder. So, um, I would definitely recommend taking this at study.com. And then the course on TESU is going to be a very traditional college course where you're going to have homework assignments. And like I said, it, it's, the one on TESU is a bit of a hair puller, so I would definitely recommend taking the Sun Study. Uh, and also, if you want to take it at WGU, you can take it there and transfer it into TESU as well. But like I said, I think it's just easier to avoid the headache and take it here on study.com. I also will be, uh, I'll, I'll wrap this video up, but I will also be releasing a guide. I'll be, I'll be making like a leak code video, which explains what leak code is. And I'll be releasing a free guide, a free, free ebook where it shows you how leak code problems are. These are problems I've written up myself. Um, and it kind of, it takes you through the waters. Like before you go on leak code, it really shows you like what kind of problems you can expect on interviews, what kind of coding challenges you can expect on interviews. So I will have that uh, for free. You know, I was debating, charging for it, but I'm just gonna give it away for free. You know, help you guys out. Um, it's got 22 problems on there that I've written up and I took whew, a lot of hours on it, probably hundreds of hours I put into it actually. But um, I will give that out for free. I'll put that in the leak code video whenever I release that, probably sometime in the next couple of weeks, I'm assuming. But I was gonna put it in this video, but uh, I just didn't have time to do it. But uh, I, I thank you guys for watching. It really means the world to me. Please like and subscribe if I helped you in any way. 
I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to be consistent and get out three videos a week again. I've had a pretty busy summer, but I am trying to get back to three videos a week for you guys and try to help you guys out as much as I possibly can. So if I helped you in any way, please like, please subscribe. When you hit the like button, it actually does send out uh, the video to more people. So that's how the YouTube algorithm works. You click the like button or you comment or both the YouTube algorithm, it's like a doorbell. It's like, okay, you know, this person liked this video. I'm going to go send it to a bunch of more people. And that's how the algorithm does work. So I would really appreciate that. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day.